evening. It's nice to see all of you folks again. It's been a while since I've been here. Of course, uh, the council and the country were about to engage in another great debate on constitutional issues of great importance, including gun control and amnesty, which is another word for the consequences of Tucson City local work policy. So that we all uh, can have a chance to engage in this debate, I'm reconvening the Tucson Weekly Public Forum that will be down at Library Square, irrespective of whether or not there's a court order uh, preventing it. People will be invited to come on a weekly basis and discuss the issues of importance that we're all concerned about. Uh, as usual, I will be packing a firearm, and I am prepared to use it in defense uh, against violence that in the past has so often been visited upon me and other people who have spoken to them. And I want the police to understand, as, they, as I will communicate to them, they always have a right, whenever, in their capacity as law enforcement officers, to enter the perimeter, disarm us, stop our speech, whatever issues we have with the police as a consequence of that, we will take up in federal court. But as for you people up here, and Steve Kazanchek would be one, and Mr. Rankin over here, and Mr. Miranda over here, you don't have any law enforcement powers. To the extent any of you, or any group of anybody, tries to knock down our perimeter, overwhelm us like the people did in Armory Park, 2006, April 10th, try to knock us down, jump on our backs, beat us, any of that, I won't hesitate to pull my firearm and blow their freaking heads off. That's the right of self-defense. That's the right of self-defense, and that's what it means, to protect yourself when you're lawfully employed. That lesson is going to be again and again. It's going to be demonstrated in the streets, and it's going to be demonstrated in court, and you people will understand that. Thank you very much. <laughs>